All right, we're back with a brand new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can actually create some slash commands. So it's actually very, very easy. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and actually uh, create, or not create, but let's assign the return value of build because right now we're calling this build method and it's actually returning an instance of JDA, but we are not actually assigning that to a variable. So let's do that first because we're actually going to need to reference that instance uh, in order to, you know, create slash commands. So let's do JDA and we're going to import that JDA class. And then we're going to create the variable called, called JDA, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it JDA and equals, and then JDA builder. And then like that. So now I can go ahead and reference JDA and I can go ahead and call the upsert command method. And I can go ahead and pass in, uh, some information, some arguments to create the slash command. So the easiest way to create slash command is just by passing in the command name. So we'll just call this, uh, let's call this, um, so let's call it slash command. And then the description, this is a slash command. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and call the set guild only method. And we're going to set this to true. We're going to pass in true. The reason why you want to do this is because if you're developing your bot, Slash commands, especially global slash commands, will take up to an hour to uh, to update. And I think by default, if you don't have set guild only set to true, it will uh, register this as a global command. So you want to make sure you explicitly set it to guild only for development purposes only. Okay. If you're ready for uh, your bot to go into production mode, then you can just set this to false. Okay. So and then we'll go ahead and just call the queue method and then. Let's go ahead and just re restart the bot or start the bot up. And let's go over to our server and let's see if the command is there. So let's see is uh, the command there. What's our command called slash? There we go. It's there slash CMD. And it's obviously not going to do anything because we aren't handling the interaction create event just yet. But it is there though. It is registered. And if I want to register more slash commands, I would have to call upsert command again. So we're going to reference the GD instance and then we'll call upsert command. And I'll just call this, uh, let's call this uh, lash cards. Let's say we're building some kind of Quizlet bot. Okay. Let's set guild only to true and then we'll call Q. And this is a void. This uh, this method is void, so it's not going to return anything. So after we call it, we can't like you know do anything else after that. Okay, let's go ahead and restart the bot, and we'll go ahead and see our new slash command. So you can see that Java bot has the flashcards command. Uh, don't worry about these two commands, or not these two. This one and this one. Uh, these two commands were from earlier, but um. It's just taking some time to update, but don't worry about those two commands though. You can see that flashcards command is over there and it says list all flashcards set. Okay, and let's go ahead and update the command by changing the description in the code. Let's just say list all flashcards and let's just restart and let's just see if it updated. So let's do flashcards and you can see that it updates pretty much instantly and because it's a guild only command, right? Let's create one more. Let's create a global command. Let's just do a quiz. Uh, is you a random quiz? And let's call set guild only, but set this to false. Okay. And let's call Q. Let's save and restart. Okay. Let's do slash quiz. And we can see that the quiz command is there. Now, if I were to update this, gives you a random quiz and questions. Let's restart and let's see if it actually updates instantly. Probably won't, because it could take up to up. It could, like I say, it could take up to one hour. You can see that it's not updated yet. It could update instantly, but most of the time it will take some time to update. So you can see that it's not updating. Gives you a random quiz and questions. Even if I restart the bot. Take some time to update, right? But you can see that for the guild command, it pretty much updates almost instantly. 
So that's why I'm saying that you should make sure you set your commands to guild only when you're developing it. So flashcards, you can see that it just updates the description instantly. So that's great. So hopefully you understand the differences between the two. So that's pretty much how you create slash commands. All right, so that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick short video on how to create slash commands um, in JDA. In the next episode, I will show you how you can actually handle the slash commands. Because right now, if we use these slash commands, they don't do anything. So in the next video, you'll learn how to actually respond to your slash commands. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.